episode 5012. It's another day, another way, a place to think and live on uh, this day here, the 16th of September. Uh, wow, well, it's going to be October any minute now. I can't believe it's already yuck, but, um, uh, it's took a few days in here. What well, kind of weird times when it gets close to this time of year? Um, the changes, they're palpable. You, the, the, what, uh, what, what the, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 oh. Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn the machines in. Forever. Here we go. I'm alive. Made it all the way back around here to Monday. Ooh, what a thought. I would have made it this far. Did you think so? It was up and down. I got pepperoni pizza today, along with some mushroom olive sausage and onion. It's some classic czar, bruh. Some classic czar. Um. I was watching a little bit of that, uh, Three Ninjas movie. You seen that movie, Three Ninjas? I think I might have talked about this before. I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> reiterate the plots of the movie. A little spoilers. But it came out in, like, around... around to... 93... 95. Um... It was kind of a... Kind of like a Home Alone movie. They made a lot of movies. Also, the Dennis the Menace came out around this time. Um, there's Three Ninjas. Um, Dennis the Menace. I don't know. I don't know if they do the Little Rascals, but there was a few um, like <laughs> terrorize, like like youth terrorizing adults movies. With like traps and like physical harm. And they're criminals too. Like, here's some movies where the youth can hurt criminals, but it's okay because they're criminals. Crime is up. You know, I try to avoid politics these days, but everybody's talking about crime. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be tough on crime. Let me tell you about crime. And, like, what even is crime? It's very vague. Well, are you a criminal? Hey, you better not be a criminal. Are you some kind of criminal? You're a criminal? You don't, you don't abide by the law? Oh, my God. Crime. You're crime. You're a guy here. Um. There's, like, a... want to do crime and if you see a criminal and they're on the way to your house you should harm them physically with traps that's what these movies are teaching you I kind of thought that it was going to happen to me when I was a little kid one of these days I'm going to have to defend my house with violence from adults who are trying to steal my belongings Oh, my belongings, well, I'll take your bodily integrity if you want to steal my belongings. I mean, that's the mess. The guy gets stabbed quite a bit. And in, in Three Ninjas, they get poisoned, but there's these stoner. The, the, the first round of bad guys are stoners. But they're evil stoners. We're totally bad guys. Like, oh, hey kids, I'm gonna kill you. All right. Oh man. Oh, dude. Dude, where'd you put the gun, dude? We have to go shoot some kids, okay? 
Oh, oh man. Oh man, these kids are totally hurting us physically. Well, they're like getting beat up and probably they'll be dead, you know, in uh, Home Alone. I don't know if they ever made the thing where they to show the people getting um, dead. Somebody's probably did it, some kind of YouTube guy. Um, I'm alone, but it's more realistic, and everybody, like, every crop is just killing them. And then there's, like, five guys, and they're, uh, like, you know, it'd take more than two guys because they'd be keeping getting killed. <laughs> Part two. Um, Kevin is throwing rocks or bricks. And in part one, he throws paint cans at them. That would kill them. Everything would kill them. But um, part one, they throw paint, or like two, they just like throw bricks off the roof. They ran into the guy's face. It's just like explode their head. Could happen. I mean, that's what would happen. It's like, bam! <laughs> you pop. Marv, your head has exploded. Um, three ninjas, they poison them with, I think, laxative. Dude, dude, I don't feel so good, dude. Hey, kids, we're not gonna hurt you. We're just gonna kill you. No, that's some weird things. I don't know what they would do re recently. I mean, they did make more Home Alone movies with uh, French Stewart. What happened to French Stewart? John Lithgow still making stuff. I mean, John, I mean, maybe he was in movies with John Lithgow in movies, but uh, he did well. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Somewhat respectable acting kind of guy. But not what happened to Sally and what happened to French Stewart. I think Sally was in Zoolander in like 2007. Uh, French Stewart is probably old now. And that uh, the, the, the Mary from that show was doing pretty well as well in the, before that. Uh, Stewart, e. French Stewart, you think he was squinty or was he squinting? Was he truly squinty? You know, like Gilbert Godfrey? I mean, Sam Kennison probably too, and Bobcat Goldthwait, all these crazy voice comedian guys. Um, they ended up dropping their crazy voices eventually because they were fake. And, but they even used them in movies like in Aladdin. They had Gilbert Godfrey. They're like, oh, who are we going to get to play the parrot? And they're like, oh, how about Gilbert Godfrey? Because he's crazy sounding all the time. I don't know if he was in the sequel. Probably not. Yeah, actually, maybe. I don't, know, I don't think he had that much going on. <laughs> I don't know what Gilbert Godfrey sounds like. Bobcat Goldfrey is even crazier, but now he, he's, he stopped doing the voice and whatever it is. Maybe I should drop my... Uh, I should drop my fake voice. You want to hear my real voice? I'm going to drop my, stop using my fake voice. Finally, after all these years. Um, was, I going, was I going somewhere with this? Or did I just start going off and then I'm like lost on a tangent of, of like a, a third tangent from nothing and I didn't have anywhere I was going? I thought maybe I had somewhere I was going, but I think I'm just uh, um, on a branch, like out on a limb, maybe with the tangents. Yesterday I was here. On Sunday, it was kind of later. I'm feeling really, really tired. Kind of tired and. Little bit sick feeling. 
I don't know what, what it was from necessarily, but I feel fine now. Yesterday I was feeling a little icky. It's affecting my energy level. Today I feel fine. Yesterday I was like, felt like I was on the, on the edge of sleep. Um, but today I feel fine. Yesterday I was here looking up the tape stuff, saying things, um, being you know alive, eating. Uh, I think I was eating nothing. That might have been part of it. I think I was eating nothing. Um, nobody left any messages. People leave messages again, so we'll see how that goes. Um, you can leave a message out there if you want to. 360-362-384. But, uh, you know, I've been having this note phone number on here for 5,000 days. Very few people call. Um, which is fine. Leave me alone. But I was here eating nothing on a Sunday. After the program, I went home and you know, kind of like watched TV and laid down a little bit. I've been watching this um, chimp show on that HBO thing there, the old HBO. The chimp show that's like a ripoff of uh, Tiger King. Maybe I should start watching Tiger King. Or... Pick like, maybe I should like pick like five shows. Maybe, maybe I mean, uh, I mean this show is on. You watch every single day. Um, watch five shows and like put them on the days of the week. So I'm like, oh, it's this day of the week. I'm sort of marathoning the show and I've been like, oh, pretend like just pretend, just pretend there's a, a movie schedule or a TV schedule. But hey, can you? Um, can you help me? I need to do yard work on uh, this coming Saturday. It's like, sorry, I can't go. I have to watch this streaming show at 6 p.m. Uh, you can watch it anyway. Yeah, but I'm trying to live in an alternate way where I used to be able to have a schedule and then I had a TV schedule and it made my life a little fulfilling fulfilled and then I was had something to look forward to. That's crazy. That's crazy to do. Like I need help with the yard. I am gonna watch TV at times. Um uh, but that chimp show is over. It's only four episodes long. I'm pretty sure Tiger King was longer, but they're doing episodic time. So on Sunday nights, I've been watching it. But now, last week, it was over. So after four weeks, you know, for four weeks, I was like, oh, it's Sunday night. Time for my chimp show. And now that's all over. And it's like, whoa, oh, man. I, like, went and looked at the last episode to just make sure. It was pretty finale eyes. Finalized. I'm gonna start watching the Tiger King again. Um, but then I just uh, like I don't know what do I do with my time. I watch it again the second time. It was fine. The show was fine. But uh, the good thing about the show is that it was there. Like oh, did you see that movie and that show? It's like oh, I did see that. How do you think? Well, it was uh, existing on television, and I could watch it. And then there was sounds, and the sounds kind of matched up with what was. Um, being shown, like sometimes people would talk, and then, then when they talk, they're, you know, they were like live, it's like as if they were there, but the they weren't, they actually there, it was a TV, like recording of somebody talking, and then you could see them, their mouths moves, when people talk, you know how people's mouths, they move when you talk, and then if you watch them, you can see the movement happening, and then you record that, and you watch it back, uh, and you could do some of that if it's there, but it wasn't there. So, so what is it? What's it all about now? And I guess I made Tiger King season two. I never watched it. 
And the chimp show kind of seemed like Tiger King Jr. a little bit. But uh, it wasn't... I mean, it was, it was good enough. I watched it all. Um, I'm knitting this thing. I'm about to finish the body of the sweater. I finished the jumpsuit kind of thing, and now I'm working on the, um... Uh, sweater. I'm looking at a sweater. Um, I have several knitting projects, like, on the back burner, which is pretty good. That's an easy, good thing to have. So, um, I'm going to be doing all that stuff when that when it gets there. Went back to work today on Monday. Last week I had two weekends. Now I'm back. I'm taking Thursday for a half off. But I uh, took time off and then yesterday you know, I had to go to sleep early because today I went back to work. And I was there all day again eating leftovers doing kind of a regular kind of work thing knitting on my brakes watching a little bit of TV came over here um went to old school pizza I'm eating old school pizza I like I do like old school pizza um uh, look like the regular people are I'm mm, this is the square weather. Today, it's like slightly chilly, which is nice, but then I went into the summer, I mean, into the sunlight with the sweater, and it wasn't too hot, and it was like, oh, this is a nice little warmth from the sun. I like, went and stood in the sun, and it wasn't blasting me. What a life. Yeah. This changeover, it's a weird time. I think it affects people um, in different ways. I like it, but uh, some people, when the su- when the seasons are changing and they're losing the sunlight a little bit, it affects them negatively and I think they get um, bummed out, a little bummed out, you know? So it's good to acknowledge your surroundings if you're feeling a little bummy. Get some vitamin D. I'm gonna call my brother, it's been a minute. program on TV, how are you? That's fine. Uh, you had to think about it? Yeah. Are you not so sure? Sure. Yeah. Could have been medium, bad? Yeah. You just had to go over like all the moments of your life? You're like, well, let's see, this thing, this thing, eh, yeah, good. We throw that in rock. Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah, what's the worst thing that's happening to you? It's like, it could be something, huh? The only guy is a little happy. Uh, it's a beautiful, um, it's, uh, <laughs> September. It's September 11th. September 11th, 9-11, did you celebrate? No. You did? I can make it look like... We went to the job Oh, yeah. We wrote in a thing, like a plane. I'm going to talk to you since then. <laughs> on the program? Yeah. I'm going to talk to you since then on the program? Yeah. 
since Wednesday. Yeah, we went to the fair. We rode on that airplane at the Pial Fair. We put a put a power up on the on the gondola, so we can just fly into the plane. Yeah, and then it's it, it swerves at the last minute, so you don't fly into it, yeah. or maybe you do anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, that was the last time anything happened to the on the U.S. Yeah. I try and watch something with the uh, twin towers in it. Every year, at least one thing, I didn't do it, so fuck it up. Like any movie that takes place in New York from before 2001? Any movie, yeah. Yeah, what year was it built? The 70s. Oh, yeah. That's not that long. Uh, I like uh, King Kong. I watched that one one year. King Kong? In the 70s. Like from the 80s? King Kong? It's, yeah, I think it's, it's in the 70s or 80s. I think it's. With I Jeff, think there's one in the 80s. With Jeff Bridges. With who? Jeff Bridges. Oh, Jeff Bridges is, is what? Plays uh, Jack Black? Yeah, it's in the 70s. I think it's the 80s. Is it the 70s? I want to say 70s. I don't know. When he climbs the Twin Towers at the end of it. What happened? King Kong climbs the Twin Towers? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that Bon Appetit channel was all in those towers. What? Bon Appetit from their heyday in like 2017. Yeah, that's the Twin Tower. Freedom, isn't that Freedom Tower? Freedom Tower. Isn't that both of them are not the Freedom Towers? Yeah. Do you feel like you have freedom? Sure. You think, do we, you think that we, as Americans, have more freedom than other people? Um, I can buy whatever I want, I feel like. Can't, like, everybody else as well, though? Um, I was talking about this earlier a little bit about like crime. You know, people are like, like they're like, this the crime rate is so high. You know, people, yeah. people say the crime rate is so high, but what does that really even mean? If I could buy more drugs at the at the store, I'd be happier. Yeah, but people are like, hey, people are committing crimes. You gotta look look out for crime. It's like, what do you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by crime? Like, yo, what are you, you don't like crime? You, 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 you a criminal? Huh? Crime watch. Just like general crime. Oh, I'm in a big crime. What about people are afraid of with the crime happening? If it's not violent, then what are they afraid of? Yeah, what, what crime is that even though? Um, drug deal, you know? <laughs> like, I'm gonna stop crime, like. What do you mean, like, like, like Batman, what's Batman doing, you know? You're beating up people? Beating up people who are, uh, like, trying to, uh, like, get by because of the, 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 he, uh, that, uh, yeah, Batman's a billionaire. People, are, he's, like, stopping people from robbing banks, maybe? I don't know. I saw on the, on Reddit, some guy in Tumwater, they it was, like, a couple. And uh, they had something in their closet, and there was a guy in the closet, and they had, they had like a kid in the house. What was he doing? They thought that maybe they stopped their kidnapping. What thing. What, what was he doing in the closet? Hiding. From what? I guess he was like in the baby's room or something, and he was hiding because he... Heard the people coming. Oh, but he wants a baby? 
Well, for the blue tank, I don't know. I, I didn't look into it very far. I saw it a couple of days ago. He's like a a weird old, old I mean, like a adult man. Yeah, I need to look into it, I guess. Like, you, you hear something in the closet, right? And you open it up, and it's a person. And they run out of your house. Um, what would you do if there was if that happened? I guess trying to figure out if they stole anything. Well, I mean, well, are you gonna pat them down? What are they gonna steal? I don't know. I would let them run a, let them run away, and then see what they stole. I don't know. I don't know why else they would do that. I would talk to them. Uh. And once they're outside, once they're outside, I mean, I would do, if I if I open the door and there's somebody in the closet, I'd be like, "Whoa! Oh, you kind of scared me, guy. What are you doing here in my closet?" Mhm. <laughs> and then I'd be like, "Are you hungry? You want some food? Are you need you need anything?" Right. Like, <laughs> how you doing? Like, where's your family? You need to you could have just asked me. I don't mind crime so much. I'm not very that against crime, depending on what it is. That's personal crime in my house, and I would fucking beat them up. But what kind of crime? What? Like stealing? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> no. What are they gonna steal? Hey, that's my jewels. Those are my jewels. Those are my jewels. Hey, are you stealing my jewels? Yeah, she's just having a bowl of jewels for uh, robbers. Just hand them out if, if somebody breaks into the house and be like, this is a stick up. And then you just get out your jewels like it's Halloween. You say, oh, here you go. Yeah. Here you go. You want to. What, those are my jewels. Those are jewels. <laughs> yep. It's a yes sir. Now they're yours. They go away. Wow. Hey, look at all these jewels that I found. It's just like um, what? What's the value in that's like small things of that are worth the value for some reason? <laughs> what? Um. Diamonds are a fraud, or not fraud, but uh, they are a fake business. They're fake, it's fake inflated prices. Oh, it is. I mean, other ways, just rocks. Right. I don't know how they did it or why why it's so expensive, but there's this rock at the end of the day, so they can, so it's like not looking them out. And so, I mean, they're stealing rocks, but other people are stealing cash, which is like, mm -hmm. it's like, what is that when you, when you hold, uh, you, you get a gun and you point I a guess gun? They say that, they say that, that that happens because people, the cops just don't care or something. You know, the movies are like, no, what are we going to do? we got to go to the cops. And the cops are like, ah, oh, whatever. But like, give me your cash. Or I'm going to shoot you. And then you're just giving them, like, the the stuff. Then they can trade that for money anyway. But, like, at that point, you should just steal or, like, rip people off for money. Like, what, you know? Uh-huh. I'm going to hurt you. That's like, uh, I was uh, home alone. I'm waiting for somebody to go in your house. Um, uh, oh, yeah, because we were talking about Three Ninjas. Remember we were watching Three Ninjas a little bit? Uh-huh. You think there's going to be a uh, set traps in your home if somebody tries to rob you and then you physically hurt them, but that kid would have killed them all? Mm hmm Like, they would have died, like, multiple times. Yeah. You know, something like yourself. And throw a rock. I mean, they threw a brick at his head. If you throw a brick at a guy's head and you hit him square in the, in the forehead from, like, a second story, I think they would die. I think so. If you hit them like you wanted to, go in there. Have you got a concussion? I don't know. 
Didn't you get didn't you get hit by a baseball or was something me? <laughs> no, nah, not me, my friend. I think I got knocked off by a baseball when I was like twelve. That's not good. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Hmm, I think it was you. You remember that? No, it's my, I'm just making a joke. I think it was you. Yeah, I have vague memories of that. But it probably happened. Alright, bye. Bye. Yeah, but with all that being said, we've been here. So, and I know it. I don't think we're going to be in the day. You can hear. I think. audio thing and then listen to it.
TV. I ain't gonna tell you. You there? Dramatic lighting, my future. I'm here. Carl's missing, so run every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TV Channel 22. Oh! Have a nice time interval, arbitrary length. 360 right 364 or 4. Call me a message to get on TV. Bye! Bye. Yeah! Hey, look, it's uh, this day. And we're over here. Where's Carl? There's Carl Sr. back there. We talked to McDonald's today. We're looking at the past a little bit. We think about what it's like to survive in this world. I have some ideas and some thoughts. And I have them for a whole hour, you know, every day. About what it's like to survive Proud. in the world? Proud today. 1130 p.m. Call these messages. Get on TV. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye. Bye. Um, there's another Mr. Ginsu. Maybe. Oh, oh, too much. Too much. I'm messing with the effects on here. But uh, I told you about my hand of it. Pretty much ass, asshole. No, my like asshole, pretty much like asshole, something like that. Then we got one of them burgers. There's a bunch of pepper in there. Black pepper. Can you hammer it? You know what that means. No, what? Hey. Covered up the ass, no. The apple smell no, was pepper. Like pepper. So, it most probably still tastes like ass, because you can't really taste it because it's covered that up pepper. Uh huh. Thought I'd let you people out there know that I can, I understand it. My hamburger still tastes like ass, so it's more like Peppers and ass. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. Fuck off. Peppers and ass, huh? Yep, yep. Uh, oh, and I've been watching the show. How about the watch show? I thought the entire show is fuck whatever. Yeah. I found out watching the show is much better. I can actually hear you. For one, and I can actually hear that whatever I say is garbled, does not come through correctly. No wonder you thought I fucking threatened somebody. Fucking prank. Oh, and Freddy's mother's such a nice lady. Yeah, did you watch it? Good for you, Freddy. And you too, Kenny. Your mom's a nice lady. Yeah? I can, I can not bring myself to make a uh, mother joke. Yeah, you have <laughs> At least a crude mother joke. You have issues with your own I would have been feeding had I not known your mother. It would have been a whole lot easier if I'd started a long time ago and not known your mother. But now that I know your mother, I can't really even get the word coming out of my mouth. Yep. So we won't do, be doing any mother jokes. No. And I find somebody whose mother is a real bitch. Then I just start going. Oh <laughs> my God! What? Oh no. 
I was pretty sure about my own mother, but. Alright, cue this thing up. Yeah, I did. Alright, let's call Freddy. Freddy the producer. How many? I'm like lost count. A lot. Why? Uh, I'm putting recessed lights in the museum space. Yeah, in the, the is there a space up there? Yeah, there's a small crawl space. You have to really crawl around in it. You're up in there? Not right now, but I was up in there to like move some of the electrical cable around and stuff. I'm hoping to be up there as little as possible, but. Probably have to get back up there in there. Can it hold your weight? Oh yeah, I mean it's like uh, it's like the, you know, it, it's meant for crawling around and putting wires in and stuff. Yeah, it can be a loft. You can't sleep there. You gotta just not stand on the drywall spot. You know, it's just the wood. Yeah. So then you gotta, you gotta like watch where you're stepping. Yeah, I just been stepping on the. On the like supporting beam, that like if it's heavy and if it's strong enough to hold up the uh, the ceiling, it's probably strong enough to hold up me. And then you like slip, and then your leg pops through the ceiling, and there's people down there, the artist down there, and then your leg is dangling. That hasn't happened yet, but it's potentially if I stepped on the drywall, my leg would probably go through. It's only about it's only about like an inch or inch and a half thick. Yeah, yeah, you get through there, and then your legs are waggling around. Um, that's, uh, yeah, comedy, violence comedy. Oh, I fell down. Slapstick. Huh? Slapstick. Slapstick, yeah. <laughs> they call it slapstick. I call it violence comedy. Violence comedy, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about violence comedy today after people get, uh, if you get, you know, in Home Alone 2 when they throw a brick at that guy. Yeah. Like, uh, something that would literally kill someone, and it's just done for comedic effect. Yeah, that would, they would die. Um, Woo! Uh, I want to record the message of the future. Oh, good. Hey! Future to the past. Hey, what's going on, future? It's, uh, the, it's almost like Akuba. Uh, I'm cutting holes in the ceiling at the museum. What up? Violence comedy. Oh, yep. yeah. Bye, future. Bye. Um, Thursday is uh, my pizza, normal pizza day anyway. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I figure we'll get a, you know, pizza, walk around. I mean, could, yeah, should we get a whole pizza? I might as well just get my normal. Th- we might. I think we might as well just get the regular pizza unless we're going to do anything. Right, Ayakuba. Get you want to get a big pizza? Yeah, for uh, tradition. They got anchovies. You ever had anchovies? No. You want Is to try? It, it? Can we make we could make anchovies the Ayakuba experience. Yeah, they have it. They have anchovies at old school. That sounds good. I've never had that, but it's like salty fish, right? Salty Probably good. fish, yeah. You want to try it? I kind of want to try it. It's like fish sauce. You know fish sauce? It would probably be good to get something you wouldn't normally be able to get because if we get a whole pizza, you know? Yeah. Anchovies and fish sauce. You know fish sauce? Have I had fish sauce? Yeah. I'm I sure have some in my fridge. I'm sure you've had fish sauce, but it's similar to anchovies. Oh, yeah. You put it That's in good. food, but then it doesn't, you don't want it to taste like fish. You think you don't want it to taste like fish, but then you put fish sauce in it and it tastes better. But it's uh, strong, but confu- it's like subtle flavors, even though it's strong flavors. Fish sauce on your fish. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what fish sauce, what, what even is that stuff? <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know, but it's called fish sauce. They like uh, maybe grind it up, grind up fish. Mmm, yum. Yeah. Um, well, how's the production going? Oh, uh, I think good. Got some stuff sent in, uh, turned in today. We should be all good about to Hayakuba and beyond on TV. We're on the radio also, so, um, that's good. Um, yeah, maybe we should try to call John Webster and tell him about Hayakuba. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be cool. What if we go to see John for Hayakuba? Yeah, I do want to go visit him. I have the day off, but I think you don't, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Might be able to get out early, though. All right, well, we'll do the show. I can do the show after, even the evening, so I took the day off for no reason, but, um, maybe just for, for relaxing. You can sit and think about the last 13 or 14 years. Yeah. The, um... The, hmm. Thinking. You know, like the seasons, uh, you feel in the change of the seasons. Remember when I started it back then, I didn't know why I was doing it at the time, but it's because of the seasons? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's a new time. I can feel it today. It's yeah. nice. It's like the best time. Yeah, yeah, not too hot. Is it sweater weather? It's sweater weather. This morning I wanted a coat. Yeah, I was like, mm, I want a coat. Hey, it's time for a coat. Um, uh, yeah, what'd you eat for breakfast? Uh, oatmeal and uh, egg on toast. They're, do, they're doing, um, what's it called there? The Saturday uh, at CCTV, the instant TV. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. When, when were you doing it? Because it was, you were able to make of those before. Were they always on Saturdays? Yeah. Uh huh. When were you going? That was before you even were at the record store? I guess so. I mean, but you've been there for so long. It's Instant Siders was before, even before that? I haven't been there for an hour, I mean a year and a half, maybe. Really? Oh, it seems like forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What year is it? Can you believe 2024. it? 2024. Oh, my God. Um, you, you see anything on the streets? Uh, let me see, I think I did. What was it? Um, no, I can't remember. One funny thing, though, someone at the record store was in the record store, and they were, like, talking to their... Oh, wait, am I getting a phone call, or is that the world? Oh, I gotta take this. I got a phone call. Okay, bye. Bye. Ugh. All right. How about John Webster? Give a call Fairfield. This is Kelsey. Hello. This is Kenny from the TV show. Is John Webster available? Yeah, give me one second. Oh, Todd! Oh? I'm trying to kill myself, John. Hey, John, Kenny. I know, but Kenny wants to talk to you from your daily hour with me. What's he he watching? Is he watching baseball? Yeah, he's watching baseball. Yeah, he likes baseball. It's hard to get him out of from watching baseball. You told him I said hi. Uh, Kenny says hi. Hello there, Kenny. He says hello there, Kenny. Uh, maybe he, it sounds like he might talk to me. It's how you John, you want to talk to Kenny? Can I put it on speakerphone? And you multitask? Here. Pause it. Uh, he's pretty intent in watching the L.A. Dodgers and the uh, Atlanta Braves. All right, well, Tom, Hayakuba's on Thursday, John. Yeah, you're going to what on Thursday? I'm sorry. It's Hayakuba. I think he knows what it is. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. All right. I'll talk to you. Yeah, now. thank you, Kenny. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. I'm doing a good... Future sus.
the past. It's Monday, and I uh, got a burrito. Did you go to the clubhouse? Is it Labor Day? Did you do Labor Mr. Ginsu? It was a human scale. Bye, future. Hey, future, it's the past. What do you have to say to the future? I do not know. Don't drink condensed milk out of a can. Look out for dust. Look out for dust. You all follow the story? Bye, future. The wind, the wind was blowing, but... It's the past. Hey, the future, it's us, it's the past. <laughs> Parenting, what do you have to say the future? Put radishes in your kids' hair. What kind of pizza did Mr. Ginsu eat? Bye, future. Bye. Where... where Future's that's the past. Hey, future. Hey, future. What do you have to say to the future, Mr. Ginsu? I can't wait for the future. Bye, Pete, uh, future. Bye, pizza. Hey, future. It's us the past. I ate a tortoise. Toxic PR. About codependency. Anonymous. That is the right thing. Thank you very much. Uh, excuse me. My future. The past. Did you stop go to Dodgeball? They still there? Yep. Excuse me. Or Grand Opening. Grand Opening. My future. Hey, future. Just the past. Y'all fellas leaving Chad GPT stories. A pizza. Tim with a comforting hug. In front of him sat the perfect slice, hot, golden, with a bubbling layer of mozzarella stretching across the crust. Talking about pizza, I'm eating pizza. It's afternoon, it's Sunday, it's another day, and you make it. My future. Bye. Hey, future, it's us. The past. In 2018, I fell asleep cooking fish. Today I'm eating these uh, molitas. Thinking about the future. Got a fakey weekend. You still got vacation time. It's another place in uh, Monday. Is it a uh, cool bye future? Hey, future, it's us the past. Hey, future, I saw a friend with us today. Look out for cars. This is Locomoco and Lacey. Go to make it oh yeah, look a mocha. My future. Uh, it's been, I don't know how to put it. It's shitty. <laughs> like the street, I just like the houses are like. Look. Oh, hey, future, it's us the past. Goes about over. Huh. Today's Thursday, and uh, Mr. Ginsu, what do you have to say the future? <laughs> Mr. Ginch is hard to hear. Yesterday we went to the state fair, but we messed up the taping thing. Now we're doing it this way. Bye, future. Oh. Well, bye. Ah. It's us, the past. We're getting more calls from uh, more from the trumpet player there. Should it be out? Should it be out? It's nice and cool. Just moving over and making any core memories. Bye, future. Hey, future, it's us to the past. What do you have to say to the future? Hey, future, don't go to Dairy Queen. That's my advice. Don't go to Dairy Queen. He's got some Texas. Get food poisoning. Flip it around. It's Saturday, uh, September. Bye, future. Hey, future, it's us. The past. You ever ponder aimlessness? It's yeah. Sunday, and uh, well, we're switching around back to the, to the last Sunday of the week before the next year, and uh, you know, keep moving. Are you there? Dramatic lighting, my future. I'm there. Hey, future to the past. Hey, what's going on, teacher? It's uh, the Tama Fayakuba. Uh, I'm cutting holes in the ceiling at the museum. Oh, yeah. yeah. Violence comedy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bye, future. Oh. Is that...
was up for once. Mountain's comedy from yesterday. Well, the show's about all over. We only have about five minutes left. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a time. What a time. Oh, what? What? Oh, my God. Uh, remember when we sat down here? About 55 minutes ago, not quite an hour. I ate all that pizza. It was only two slices, but I ate it all. It was pretty good. Uh, you know, onions and mushrooms and sausage and pepperoni, and now I'm carrying it around with me. It's up in there. Like, I carried it here outside of me, and then I put it inside of me. Now it's inside. You ever put food inside your guts and then walk around with it everywhere you went? Um, that's what happened. I ate that hot dog. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't even very well cooked. Um, I was thinking about, I guess, movies, Home Alone, kind of like violence and three ninjas and... Uh, what, a, what a time. Three ninjas and, and Home Alone and Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace catches, oh, the guy on fire, like, more than once. It's Christopher Lloyd. Catches him on fire, and then he traumatizes him, and by the end of the movie, he's cowering, cow, cow, cower, cowering. Oh, I'm cower, cowering in fear. What are you doing, cowl? Cowl, cowl, cowl. I don't know what he's doing, but he's scared. He's scared. He's cowering, cowering. Oh, you're a coward? Coward? Like you're a coward? Like you're a coward and then you're cowarding? It's like the act, the physical act of being a coward is cowarding? I'm not really sure how, uh, how it works. But I think that's what was going on with um, uh, Christopher Lloyd in that movie. I don't think that kid grew up to do much. But, uh, you know, if you're going to rob somebody, look out for, like, five to ten-year-old children they will uh burn you and like just like smash your skull with heavy things maybe or just just trick you uh look out for crime though i guess it's around potentially thanks uh freddie thanks for talking to us today and uh andrew mr ginsu for those messages we didn't listen to any other messages i'm just yellow fellow i'm yellow fellow didn't leave any messages but we did listen to the Mr. Ginsu messages, talked to my brother for a little while, uh, just about fear, and a little bit about 9-11, even though it's mostly past, but I didn't talk about it a whole lot on the actual day of it, so uh, we're going to get through this thing, oh yeah, we tried to talk to John Webster as well, John, it's going to be hockey, but you don't know what it is, I tried to tell you, um, but uh, you didn't seem to be really listening the whole a whole lot, so... Um, Oh, what the? What does that sound? Oh my god. Donk, donk, am I sitting on something? Okay. Yeah, Mr. Gensu is good at uh, saying stuff. Mr. Gensu is good at saying stuff. Hopefully, you uh, deal with your mother. 